Hi, Ivy welcomes you back to What's Cooking in Ivy's Kitchen. So, Ivy is making another amazing dessert with a twist. Now, twist makes our life interesting. And remember, not all desserts are baked. So, we are going to make summer pudding. Let's quickly get on to the ingredients. 400 ml of apple juice, around 12 slices of bread, the edges cut out, 30 grams of dried cranberries, 30 grams of raisins, 60 grams of dried apricots which have been chopped, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, one bay leaf. Now this is the twist. We are going to use bay leaf in an English pudding. We we'll also require three medium-sized apples, uh, diced, three medium-sized pears, both of which are diced. Now, this is another twist because it is an English pudding which is generally made of strawberries, raspberries and blueberries. Now, these berries are not easily available. So, why not substitute it? We are going to use apples. 1 tablespoon sugar. The first step is to line the pudding mold with clean film. Now friends, if you look at, this is a 1 liter pudding mold. Okay, and I have lined with clean film. First, lengthwise, then second, this side. Okay, so now you can see with overhangs. Now this is very important to have the overhangs. Friends, I have... Uh, Cut out two circles, a smaller one and a bigger one, on two pieces of paper. Now this is exactly as diameter of the pudding mold. So the inside, the, the smaller one, what I have done is, I have just put the pudding mold on a piece of paper and then drawn with a pencil and I have cut it out. Similarly, this is the you overturn the bowl on a piece of paper and again you draw it with a pencil and make the cutter. So this will enable us or it will help us to cut the bread. For the next step, we'll add all the foods to this karai. So in goes our foods. Now the chopped apples and the pears. So we have put, uh, put all the fruits here and now we will add the apple juice. This is 300 ml. We will add another 100 ml. The remaining 100. Sugar, 1 tablespoon and the spices. So this will now go to the Burner will uh, cook it. So on medium heat, we will first let it boil, and then once it boils, we'll cook it for around seven minutes. Okay, so uh, it is slowly starting to boil. Okay, and you can see what I have done is I have cut the fruits into different sizes. The dices are of different sizes so that you know some of them will become more soft some will give you that bite when you have the pudding so you can see the mixture has boiled it has reduced in size now we'll just wait for another five minutes till the bigger chunks are poached so we'll just taste the bigger chunks whether it is poached or not yeah, another three minutes and then this will be done three minutes are over we will just hmm, it's done so we we'll now switch off the gas and allow the mixture to cool for some time while the mixture is being cooled we we'll line the pudding mold 
with the bread slices. So what I'm doing first, I'm taking the smaller circle and one piece of bread. I put it carefully over the bread and we'll cut out the edges. So it will roughly become a circle. Now we'll not show these pieces, we might require. So this one, we'll put it here. More or less, the inside is done. Now we'll line the sides. So these small pieces, we put it in the, there should not be any gaps. The small pieces will now come handy, we'll make the, to seal the gaps. Okay. Now these four are uh, remaining, so what we have to do, we'll cut the bread slices into triangles. Okay, so yeah, so now what we'll do is, yeah fits perfectly even if it does not fit perfectly even if there is some overlapping no problem this we can make it smaller any nooks if you can if you see just seal them using the idea is not to have any gaps perfect now what we have to do is very carefully we'll cut the overhangs so very gently we'll cut the overhangs so it will look something like this so this has cooled now what we'll do is we'll just keep some juices aside as reserved. I'll tell you what we are going to do with it. Just the juices. So around four to, this is four tablespoon, I'll put another. This is five. So five tablespoon of the syrup, we are keeping it aside. Okay, now we'll put the cooked foods into it. So while putting, we'll gently press it. So what I'm thinking is, we'll put another slices of bread. So we layer it with, and then what we'll do is, we can just on all sides gently press it so you can see it is filled with fruits we have also put in the syrup and the reserve is here extra we'll require that later we'll put this aside now what we'll do is, with this bigger circle, we'll put this one over the bread pieces. So I'll put this over four slices of bread, then we'll cut the edges once more. We'll try to... Like a circle, we'll not show the cut pieces, we will 
require it. So now this goes over in the same sequence. We'll put this. So any gaps we will seal it. Just press it gently. There should not be any gaps. Remember, fill in all the gaps. Yeah, this looks fine. Now comes the work of the overhang. Okay. And on this side. Okay. So from all sides, what we are doing is we are compacting. Now we put a plate on top, and then we put a weight like this, or it could be like this also. So this will go inside the fridge overnight. Overnight refrigeration is over. I have already taken out. And now the final moment, a slightly difficult step. Uh, we are supposed to do it right now. Now, unmolding is the last step that we have. So very carefully, we will remove the overhangs. now perfect now the next step is slightly difficult okay okay so I just you have to be very quick just one step ready steady and go Till now, looks perfectly okay. Now, very gently, we remove the first overhang. There goes the second one. Looks pretty good. If you can see, it is soaked. So, what we'll do is we'll try to make it more. Uh, uh, you know, we add some more. So now we plate. I have just added a few, uh, you know, poached uh, cube diced here. So in goes the meat leaves. This is just to add color, and we'll add some more color using cranberries. So how does it look? It looks good. Now how does it taste? So let's cut it out and as usual I get a chance to taste. So first two tests I passed. So now is the final test. A little difficult but not impossible because it is very compact okay how does it look So after unmolding and cutting, now is the time. Mm. It's good. It's very very good. Actually, this is my 11th recipe. 
and I would like to thank all my subscribers and viewers for encouraging me and watching my YouTube channel. If you like this recipe as much as you have loved my other recipes, do like, share and subscribe to What's Cooking in Ayla's Kitchen.